Welcome back everybody to my E3 2015 prediction videos. In part one, I talked about my predictions for Sony, Microsoft, and third parties. Now in part two, it's going to be exclusively Nintendo. Um, if you guys have not seen my part one and want to see my predictions for Sony, Microsoft, and the third parties, go back to my channel and look for it. I'll probably also have a link for it in the description. You guys can go and enjoy that. Here's part two. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to be talking about Nintendo. Enjoy, please. So when it comes to Nintendo, I do think they do have a lot planned and sh to show off. Now, if all of it's on there, now, now, what they're going to show on their digital event and what they're just going to show probably on their website and YouTube channel are two totally different things. So some of the stuff I talk about might be at the digital event. Some of it's probably just going to be shown off. So we never know. We don't really know about that. But I do have heard rumors that a new retro game and a new platinum game are probably coming to be announced for Wii U. Or at least for Nintendo. I can't guarantee it would be for Wii U. It might be 3DS. But retro is working on something. And the chances are they're going to be showing it off at E3. And that whole tweet they did with Can You Dig It? Uh, I don't really know what they're going to be doing. The room It looks like they're going for something Donkey Kong related again. But I really, really wish they would go and do something else. And no, I don't mean go back to Metroid. I think someone else should be on Metroid. We don't need their Metroid Prime just yet. I think someone else should have their chance to focus on and work on their own Metroid. Retro should have a chance to do something different. They've done Metroid. They've done Donkey Kong. I'm hoping if they have anything, they please have something different. And then there are rumors that Platinum is working on their collaboration title with Nintendo, like they did basically with like Bayonetta and Wonderful 101 and whatnot. So if, there, if that rumor is to be true, uh, they're going to have something probably at E3. I do think we're going to have more details on a lot of games that have been already announced, like Devil's Third, Yoshi's Woolly World, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Fatal Frame, Mario Maker, Star Fox, uh, possibly Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem, and Fire Emblem If. Uh, we're definitely going to see more information on Devil's Third. There is, a, I think, like a European like release date already, so we're definitely probably going to get an updated trailer and probably an American uh, release date probably on that. Yoshi's Woolly World, I think, is going to come out soon i think what late summer early fall i think come out soon so they're going to probably have some of that but they have been showing some stuff off for that lately so there's no real i don't think that's going to be a really big game that they're going to show off unless there's some stuff they still have that for that game that they haven't shown us that's really really big but they have shown off all the amiibo stuff and whatnot so i don't think they're going to focus too much on yoshi's woolly world unless there's something really big that's left Deadly Chronicles X will very likely get an English trailer, and it's going to come out by the end of the year. I don't know if we're going to get a release date, but we're definitely going to get an English trailer. Um, Fatal Frame is probably going to be coming, around around, uh, coming out around Halloween, so I don't know if this will be on their digital event, but they're going to have something probably about some updates for Fatal Frame, because we haven't seen that anything mentioned about that since that like, direct like a few months ago. Mario Maker, I think, is definitely going to be talked about because it is... Mario's 30th anniversary, and I think they're going to show off more stuff on Mario Maker because I think there are some things we still don't know yet, and a lot of people seem to predict and assume that maybe we might start, we might get more like Mario Paint stuff with this game. So if they do that, that would actually be kind of cool. Star Fox is definitely going to be shown off. It was only hinted at last E3. It's most definitely going to be shown off this this uh, this C3. I do think we're going to get a trailer in possibly a, in playable form where people are going to play on the, you know, the <clears throat> on the floor and whatnot. And we're going to probably see a lot of that in the Treehouse event and whatnot. So definitely Star Fox is probably going to be one of their key titles they show off. I can't really guarantee we're going to see much on Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem because we just saw like that Japanese trailer a few months ago. And it's not even really set for a Japanese release date, let alone an American one or European one. So... Maybe they'll show hints. Maybe the creators or developers will give hints, pictures, maybe a slightly updated trailer, Japanese trailer. Can't guarantee about that. Fire Emblem If I do think we might see more on, though. Because we haven't seen, we've been seeing quite a bit of it lately. I wouldn't say on the digital event. But definitely 
videos and information released more on it because we're getting close to, we're getting closer to the Japanese release so chances are we'll see more on that I do think the project treasure game you know that four player like dungeon treasure hunting type thing might be showing off more but I can't I couldn't really make anything any guarantees really on that because we just saw like the first footage of it like a few weeks ago so I think if anything it's gonna be very very minor there's probably gonna be nothing really big there for the Project Treasure game. And, that, and I forgot the company's name, was it Tantalus or something like that? That that one company that said they're working on some third party multiplayer, they're they're working on porting it over to the to the Wii U. I think E three is a big time for them to show whatever that game is. I don't know how, what old game it is, because I, I unless they're working with a company right now to present a multiplayer to it, but I think it's gonna be an older game. But there's that there's some supposedly some third party port that they're working on to the Wii U and we might have a trailer information released on what that actually is. Um, just like I said with Sony in the last video, I do think there needs to be a price drop. I think Nintendo needs to drop it down to two fifty. I really think the Wii U should have a new two fifty price drop that has a new bundle, probably with two different new games in it, probably like maybe a Mario Kart bundle or or maybe Mario Kart slash like 3D World or maybe like, th I don't know, like something, like some new bundle I think they're going to have and they're going to price, they're going to knock it down to 250 because I think it's been at 299 for about, what, a year and a half now? I think, if anything, more so than even Sony, Nintendo needs to do a price drop because then it might put them more in the competitive scene and allow them to sell more Wii U's. And I think it's been long enough to the point where we need a you know a price drop on it. And some new colors, please, Nintendo. I'm giving you a hint right now. Please make a red one. Um, we're definitely going to see more stuff on the Smash DLC now. It's no guarantee that it'll be on the... I don't think they're going to use that for the digital event. They're going to probably do it for this Sunday for that, that thing that Sakurai is doing. Because that's when Lucas gets released. So they're probably going to show some more characters. Uh, and if the rumor of Ryu and Roy are true, we might see those characters. They probably are going to announce maybe another character or two. They're definitely going to probably announce stages. And they might he might even let us know because there's supposedly modes that are also going to be DLC. So he's probably going to show more than just characters and stages. At least I would hope. And I think that's where they're going to focus on Smash. Because they're going to want to keep it off the digital event so they can focus on other content and have Sakurai talk exclusively about Smash this Sunday on his little event. Where definitely, if, if there is to be any more Mario Kart 8 DLC, they're going to probably show it off. Um, I don't know about any retro specific retro tracks I want to see, but I definitely would see would say they're going to probably put a few more original tracks in there. And they're definitely going to do some more cameo stages. Franchises they have left now. They basically already done Excite Bike, F-Zero, um, Animal Crossing and whatnot. They still could do Kirby, they could do Wave Race, they could do 1080, they could do Diddy Kong Racing... They can do uh, Metroid, stuff like that. And then as for characters, um, maybe they could bring back Diddy Kong. They could do Birdo, like a lot of people want, Birdo and Diddy Kong. They could do Captain Falcon. They could do Kirby. They could do Samus. They could do, uh, I don't know, they could do some other cameo characters. And then some random characters like they did with, like, Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach and stuff like that. Maybe they could put in Cat Bowser, I don't know. You know, Nintendo does the most random crap sometimes. So if there's going to be any, like, Pack 3, Indoor Pack 4, we're probably going to hear about it. Uh, Splatoon, if there's, any, like, any of that free DLC coming out, they might make a quick mention of that. They might go over more... They might go over some of the collaboration titles they were, are doing. Like I said before about Platinum, there's talk, about, there's talk and rumors about the Platinum working with them again. So if there's any more collaboration titles, which there's rumors that third, that Nintendo's working with a lot of third parties on collaboration type stuff. There's more of that stuff coming, and it's probably going to be at E3 2015. Expect a lot of those games to be showing up, I would assume. Um, I don't know if they're going to talk about the anniversaries, but this year basically there's F-Zero, Mario, Pokemon, and Fire Emblem. F-Zero's 25th anniversary, Fire Emblem's 25th anniversary, Mario's 30th, and I think Pokemon is 20 this year. So they're going to probably talk about those, and... 
Maybe they'll have something special for some of those. Maybe a new game. Maybe some download stuff like game wise and sales on the shop. Um, and if they could even use this whole Pokemon thing to um, announce that that Poke Pokemon Fighters might be coming to Wii U, which I think a lot of people are predicting is eventually going to come. They could also always do a Pokemon Snap to Nintendo. Please, we need one of those. And they have the game pad, which works so well with it. Um. And as for new Nintendo franchises, I think they're going to be showing off. I do. I would say this. F-Zero, Metroid, Golden Sun, and Animal Crossing. Those are my predictions. Now, Golden Sun, it's been five years since the last game. Dark Dawn on a DS in 2010, which was revealed at E3. The last time they revealed a Golden Sun game was at E3. It's been long enough. We kind of have that, that ending from Dark Dawn that just, it's like, it's going to continue. It has that ending that says, oh, we're just going to be continued type of thing. I'm thinking now is the time. That's going to be the 3DS, 3DS's new game, I think, announced. And as for F-Zero, Metroid, and Animal Crossing, that's going to be Wii U. And why do I pick those three games? Because they've been they've been used a lot lately. F-Zero, people be like, no, no, new F-Zero. But like I said, is Nintendo working on a new F-Zero game back in, like, two months ago? There's a lot of stuff speaking about it towards it. There's all that Smash, like the, all the all the Mario Kart 8 DLC. You got Mute City and Big Blue. You got the Amiibo that gives you the costume. You can down you can download the Blue Falcon. There was the new stage in the 3DS version of Smash Brothers. There was the uh, attraction in Nintendo Land. They're using the IP. They're trying to push it, and I think it's because there's a new game. And like I mentioned with the anniversary, it's. F Zero's twenty fifth anniversary. It's I think this is the big moment to announce a return for it. As for Metroid, uh, there's rumors that there is a new Metroid coming, and when Reggie was wearing during that the event back in like two thousand thirteen that um that one awards thing with the Metroid pin. So I think someone's working on it, and I do not think it's retro. Or do I? And I hope it's not retro. Is also my thoughts on that. Um, and Animal Crossing gets talked about a lot, too. They had that, like, downloadable thing on the Wii U they mentioned, like that city thing where you can talk about all the, over Miiverse and whatnot. You can do that, and it's a popular enough franchise. They've been, I think, talking about it recently. I think people have been asking for it, so I think that's going to come, too. So F-Zero, Metroid and Go um, Animal Crossing for Wii U, Golden Sun for 3DS. I would also like to be able to say Leap the Agents and Advanced Wars for the 3DS, but that's a little more out there, I think. More so than I think F Zero, because Intelligent Systems still working on Fire Emblem If, and I have no idea what in the world we're ever or if we're ever going to get in our Elite Beat Agents on that game. I would sure hope so one day. And finally, they're about the whole Zelda thing. They basically said, "Oh no, we're not going to bring Zelda there." Well, first and foremost, we do now know about the whole. 3DS version of Hyrule Warriors, which was leaked. So there's going to be some sort of Zelda there for the 3DS, at least. Maybe they'll also have something special for Wii U. Like, people were talking about maybe doing, like, a, another HD thing, like Twilight Princess or something. You could also do Skyward Sword. Um, so probably doing that there, if they don't have an actual Zelda. Because the new Zelda is not going to come out until, like, next year. Next year's the 25th anniversary for it, which is really weird because the... No, 30th anniversary, I mean, 25th anniversary was when uh, they brought out uh, Skyward Sword. Um, so, but they basically said there's going to be nothing there. So either A, that means it's not going to be there, but they might have some other Zelda content on the side like they're doing with the Hyrule Warriors. Or maybe they're trying to trick us and there's going to be something there. Because I think there is a chance that they could possibly be tricking us and it could be a new trailer or a new playable demo game thing or something on the treehouse and during the event and whatnot. Like, if Zelda's not there, the biggest game they're going to probably be showing off is definitely going to be Star Fox. Besides, like I said, those new games that they would probably announce, like an F-Zero Animal Crossing Metroid. But I mean, like, a game that's going to be showed off fully, those... Because that game's been worked on for about over a year or so now. Um, and that's about it for... Um, my E3 predictions for um, Nintendo. I hope you guys like this video. And stay tuned for future videos. Please, please subscribe if you want to. And have a nice day. And let's all enjoy E3.